Hi friends, <laughs> welcome to our Wilderness Basics series. We want to create a fun place for you to learn super basic nature, bushcraft, and wilderness skills. What do you have there? A snake skin. A snake skin. Huh. Pretty cool. I remember finding a lot of these as a kid. And I'd always know, oh, a snake had been there. But not everybody maybe knows what this is. Snakes grow like many animals. And when they do, well, their skin could get really tight. Yeah. So they shed it off all in one piece like this. Pretty cool. Yeah, you've probably seen snakes that are about to shed. They're going to look milky gray. Uh-huh. Yeah. And their eyes will look milky gray too, and that's one of the easiest ways to tell that they're about to shed. Yeah. And then right before they shed, they're going to look pretty colorful again. because They release a little bit of a, a liquid from their skin that's going to lubricate things. And then they'll go up and they'll use their face, usually against something sharp, and press and press and break away a little bit of the skin. And then they'll start to wiggle out of this skin to reveal this beautiful, fresh skin underneath. Cool. There's a lot we can tell from a snake skin. We can get up close, especially if we're uncomfortable with snakes, and see what they look like, right? They have these long scales on their bellies, and they'll shift to smaller scales, more flexible ones along their backs. We can tell the species. What species is this? You know? Uh, let me see. Is it a garter snake? Yeah, it sure is. We've seen that one line go down the back, and that's a garter snake from around here. We can also tell the length of the snake, and often we can see any scars. Here's a really good one. Yeah, you pointed this out. Yeah, that little break there. And so that's probably where it had a, a wound, and we can see... Yeah, that's an interesting one. I haven't seen one quite like that before. Often we'll see scales or things that are sort of all messed up. And that will tell where there's a scar. Down here is where they go to the bathroom. <laughs> they have something called the cloaca. And that is they pee and poop out of the same place. Kind of funny, huh? Yeah, that's weird. Just like a bird. <laughs> Now the head is kind of squashed in there. Do you think you can wiggle that out and see what we see? You were noticing it's getting really soft as we work with it here. Yeah. That's more similar to what a skin looks like right when it comes off of a snake. It's still wet. You're just about to get to the head. Why don't you pull that out for us? Let's see what we see. Wow, look at that. There's the head. Now, we're seeing something really special here, which are the eyes, those covers. Look at that. There's covers over the eyes. Why do they have those over their eyes? Because they never blink. They never blink? Snakes never blink? Looks like blinks. <laughs> yeah. Snakes never blink. They don't have eyelids. They don't have eyelids. They just have these hard coverings over their eyes. Yep. What about when they sleep? No, they, oh, they sleep with their eyes open. They do, exactly. Yeah, I think in some movie, was that maybe one of the Harry Potter movies? The big snake blinks its eyes. It happens in a lot of places where they show animated snakes. But these guys never blink their eyes. Eyes are always wide open. Pretty cool. Said, truth is funnier than fiction. Yeah. Weirder. But wait, why don't we shed our skins? Because we are shedding our skins, but just all the time in very little bits. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're always letting dead skin cells come off of us. That's what a lot of, sounds kind of gross, but a lot of the dust in a house is often dead oh, oh, skin yeah. cells from the human occupants. Yep. So we shed it all the time, like a pine tree. Our white pine trees shed needles all the time, so they're never bare of, of needles. 
of their little leaves, which is essentially what those are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have other trees around here. That like are maple trees. Coming bare. Yeah. And shedding their leaves. They're more like a snake. <laughs> shedding it all at once. This is a super cool thing to find, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's going to get you in touch with a creature that a lot of people are afraid of. And if you're not afraid of it, it's kind of hard to catch and pretty squiggly when you do catch it, so you can't I mean, depends on yeah. the snake, but your sister, she's good at catching them. Oh my. <laughs> What do you have there, one. Liliana? Oh, it's so tiny. Uh, so that we don't and let, let Mirabel try after this. He really wants to go. Yeah, but you let hold him once. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. Put him in the grass. He's so cute. You keep your eyes out on the ground, especially in fields, where a lot of these snakes, corn snakes and fox snakes and garter snakes, love to dwell and you might just find one of these snake skins pick it up check it out it's a wonderful bit of natural history yeah. that will teach us about a creature that we don't often get to encounter unless we're super snaky and good at catching them <laughs> also let us know if you find one and what it looked like and if you could guess what kind of snake it was perfect <laughs> thanks <laughs>